I think that Nam Ji Hyuk gets a really bad rap for not being a great actor because I think he's amazing. Yeah, who says that? I don't know. I see it online all who, the time. Who are you? Welcome to our actor series. Today we're going to be talking about Nam Ju Hyuk. Yay! Marisa, he's like one of our all-time favorites. Jen, I love him so I much. Know. He's so good. He's so good. I don't understand people who say that he's not good. I, I don't understand that either. And that really bubbled up during startup. <gasps> And I don't know why he was lambasted that way. Because he's really talented. He's really talented. Yeah. I just, I don't understand it. So startup was a whole, startup, that whole startup debacle was something else. But let's first start with where you first experienced Nam Ji Hyuk. What was your first Nam Ji Hyuk uh, show? Weightlifting Fairy Kim Bok Ju. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was his first lead role, if I if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah. And he... Um, it's the number one show, I think, on Cocoa. Yeah. Like, it's a beloved show for the foreign audience. I don't think it was, I don't think it was very big in Korea. Really? I believe so, yeah. Oh, it's much bigger interesting. offshore. Yeah. I just thought that was just a, it was adorable from, like, the jump. Yes. Um, he had also been in Cheese in the Trap uh -huh. by that point, and he was supporting, and he, Scarlet Heart Rio, mm -hmm. did that come out before? According to, yeah, it just looked like it came right before that, yeah. Um. But, you know, there, there were so many <laughs> young model slash idol actors in <laughs> Scarlet Heart Rio. <laughs> oh, my God. That, was, that one was that. that was just a lot of pretty. That was a it lot was, of pretty in Chosen Era so garb, right? Or was it Gorio? I don't remember. Which uh, one that Gorio, was. Was I think. Gorio? But, okay. like, that whole swimming pool bathing scene. Yeah. The show is right? ridiculous. I think, yeah. Um, and you can't find it anyways. No, so. you can't. It's nowhere to be found. No. So you can't even, like, enjoy it. But Weightlifting Fairy, you can find pretty much... Yeah, and Cocoa. I think it's on Vicky. And uh, does it land on Netflix? Oh, I'm not sure. I don't know. I feel like it, maybe not. But anyway, you should watch for it for sure. If you haven't watched it, for sure watch it. He plays a they're uh, uh, they're at the national they're at the training na center. training center, and they are are they there? I don't think so because she gets into the national training center by the end of it, doesn't she? Oh, you're right. They're in college. They're in college. Yeah, but they're both athletes, and yes. he's a swimmer. And a weightlifting fairy, uh, Kim Bok Ju, is a weightlifter. And um, I, their relationship cracked me up, which I think, as I'm saying this out loud, is one of the things that makes me love him so much. He always makes me laugh. Yes, he's very funny. <laughs> but there's also, well, also because he has such an antagonistic relationship with her. Like, they have so much fun. And mm -hmm. yes, they were dating in real life. So there's this added zhuzh mm -hmm. to their sparkle. But, For sure. Yeah. But he, their, their relationship was hilarious. It yeah. was hilarious. Like, when she was trying to date his brother and he <gasps> knew about it and was helping her. And then it just became this whole debacle. And it was cringeworthy. But he was, but I feel like the moment when I was like, oh, he's more than just... Was when there was that scene in the pool mm -hmm. when he after he found out about his mom mm -hmm. and the whole thing and he's like really depressed and like there was that moment where I was realized that there was more to it than just you know the affable college co-ed and I think that's the key to yeah. Nam Ju Hyuk when he's vulnerable Oof. and he's got a hurt backstory a backstory that fills him with hurt oh it just gets you right there right it does it does yeah uh, he portrays that so well he really does he kind of in my opinion owns that kind of range for me personally yeah he just he just he just gets me he just gets me in the little the in the fields every time i see him <laughs> and i just want the best for him i saw a clip about the time like right when we first started watching and i we had just watched we had just watched uh weightlifting fairy and there was a clip of him at some event and he was so visibly uncomfortable because of all the fans that were just surrounding him. Oh, do you remember you know that? Did that you was, see that? That was terrible. That was yeah. a, that was in Manila. That was it. Yeah, in the Philippines. And there was a fan meeting, and they did nothing to to control, to control <gasps> it, and they all just wanted to touch him, and it was so uncomfortable. So uncomfortable. And God bless him. He was so professional, and he stayed, and he didn't throw a tantrum there. But man, the, I'm sorry, those promoters were just. There um, was something about that clip that a I was really upset for him, yeah. But I also wanted to just take care of him, yeah. <laughs> like because yeah. you and I both worked in events and mm -hmm. we both worked in uh, production, and so yeah. I my my instinct was to like go in there with my badge and be like clear it out, clear it out, move away. <gasps> That's right. That's Give right. the man some space. 
yeah, and yeah, um, yeah. I think ever since then I've just he's just, he's just got a little soft spot <laughs> in my protect heart protect him because he was just so like oh my god get them away from me yeah yeah I don't yeah. know what my people were doing there but oh, it was uncomfortable yeah, it's yeah. Just, well I just don't feel I don't feel like the promoters put enough they just don't get any security in there it no. gets nuts no oh no. oh um, just pizza for the fan girl just like yeah. Poor, the poor things just lose their mind they get too close yeah yeah um but oh, yeah. i also saw him in a bunch of because he was a model he was he was signed to yg mm. um and so he had done some modeling and he was also in a couple of music videos with Akdong musician oh, yeah it's okay. very cute like high school storyline like the um Oh, I can't remember the musicians' names, uh, but they're brother and sister, and like mm. she has this kind of, cr she has this mad crush on Nam Ji Hyuk because why well, couldn't you? Well, of course like, you so are. Like, yes. No acting required. None. Zero. <laughs> but yeah, those are super cute. Okay. Like I, I did, I knew nothing about him until mm -hmm. I saw Weightlifting Fairy. Oh so, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it. Yes. And then I was like, well, he's a model. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, then since then, you're like, oh yes, you are. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Marie, so. It, when you look at his, we've because we've seen, we basically watched almost everything he's been in, yes. drama wise, since then, mm -hmm. and we've caught a couple of his movies. Mm -hmm. Which, what is your favorite? My, that's hard because yeah. I see a big shift in his acting mm -hmm. after he did the Great Battle, the film with Zhou and Song right. and Pak Sung Woo, yes. Bae Sung Woo, and Pak Pak Byung Un, our favorite Pak Byung Un, and also yes. Um Tae Gu. Yeah. There is a like because I think before that he had just done Bride of Haebok. Yeah, and I could see him on this trajectory, like taking lead roles. Mm -hmm. But then he did the Great Battle, yep. and I was watching um, in preparation for this podcast. I was watching YouTube, <laughs> <laughs> as one does, <laughs> and they were they were on their press tour, mm -hmm. and Jo and Sung is a megastar, yeah. and so Nam Ji Hyuk was there, just very quietly, just you know, he's like the third or fourth chair, sure. And I, he talked about how nervous he was about doing the film, how hard he trained, the horseback riding, mm -hmm. the sword fighting, um, and the and the acting because he needed he knew he needed to show yeah. up for this film to have, because that those that caliber of those actors. Um, so even though he was the young male lead, I guess you could say mm -hmm. in the film, um, he knew that he was kind of the apprentice, and I. I think it did it it pushed him into uh, working on his craft. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Because that one, I mean, let's be honest, that one he couldn't just get away with being cheeky and good looking. Correct. And so that one he had to push. And even if you look at as much as Bride of Havak gets <laughs> gets panned, right? I it wasn't great. It was not great, but I, I will say it was different, right? So it wasn't, it was, I don't, I don't know what, what kind of character he played in Moon Lovers, uh, Scarlet Heart Rail, uh, uh, but, <laughs> but, 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 but A, he was the lead. Mm -hmm. So he'd only done Weightlifting Fairy. Then he did Ride of Havoc. Mm -hmm. um, and he played this character that I think is outside his wheelhouse because it is that very, um, condescending and cocky and uh where usually he's kind of the puppy yeah he's kind of the puppy with like the snark this one he was like the ruler who thought everyone was beneath him <laughs> and so but again that vulnerability of his he did tap into that towards the end and i was very invested and he had amazing long blue hair <laughs> so <laughs> i was really into his wigs oh. when he was in the god realm with his wigs i was really really into it and then there was crystal and gong myung and there was they were like a four something it was amazing with all their long wigs it was oh. fantastic so there's a lot of fantasy elements to it that i really did enjoy but i do i kind of feel like that was that was one thing where he maybe saw what he could possibly do and then he had the opportunity and i don't know when these shot and what order and so maybe they shot in different orders right. but you could i can see where that the he started to pay more attention to craft Yes. In that, in that time. So the great battle was, what year was that? Well, they're saying it came, it came out in 2018. And so Bride of Habak was 2017. Oh, so they could have possibly shot around yeah, the same time. Filming began in August of 2017 and finished in January of okay. 2018. Yeah. And so the, what did he take after that? Was that when he took Radiant? Yeah. Light in Your Eyes was right after that. You see? Yeah. It's pretty clear. Yeah. It's pretty clear that he took Radiant, which was a, 
unexpected oh and was a demanding role and a demanding storyline. I mean, because- that one, the work, the work he did with Joe and Sun Sung mm-hmm. was amazing. But I think the work he did with Kim Hae Ja in Radiant, yeah. beautiful, beautiful. I remember when we watched it after the twist or the turn Oof. happens, you and I were lost. <laughs> we were like, what? <laughs> what's happening? This You pulled the rug out from Completely. under us. We don't know what to do. And then as we continued with it and we um, marinated it, yeah. marinated in it it's, a bit longer. Yeah. Oh, he played so what? Good. Like three different roles in that? Uh, it's, what, at I least. Think? At four? least. Yeah. So he played the original timeline. Mm-hmm. He played the kind of delusional timeline. Yes. And then he played, I the feel like there's, there's a flashback timeline, oh, right? Yes. And uh-huh. so there's, he played so many different roles within that role. Mm-hmm. He was, he, I just, I just thought that he was beautiful in it. And, and it's a- heartbreaking and it's amazing that the director and the the writer and the production team took a chance with him because <gasps> um i think let's see when did this shoot september 2018 so the great battle had come out by then yeah and if he had not done that i mm-hmm. don't they never would have taken a chance on him I don't because think so. this is this requires skill mm-hmm. that 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 and role. to go to, to even share a scene with Kim Hae-ja. Yeah. You have to have a certain, in my, I would believe, mm-hmm. to bring someone in to even share a scene with her, they have to have some level of, of talent. Yes. To share, to be the role that hinges almost the whole story mm-hmm. across the different variations of Kim Hae-ja. Mm-hmm. It was, you, yeah. had, you had to be a certain caliber, you had to be able to tap into a certain caliber of talent. That's right. That's right. You can't just be the X model. Mm-mm. Yeah. With the snark and yeah. the charm. Mm-mm. Charm no was, way. charm was not going to carry it because if we w- you want to do that, I mean the, the, um, who played the brother in it and he uh, was charming as, can Son I love Ho- him? Son Ho Jun. Son Ho Jun. Who we love. Son Ho Jun. Love him. Yeah. But, and he's a very talented actor, mm-hmm. but I don't, uh, he, he, he does a lot of that charm and snark, which is kind of his thing. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, Nam Joo Hyuk has got that vulnerability that I just think transcends it. That's right. Oh, uh, you know, th- this drama, um, let's see, it was 2018. We've been watching for a couple of years by yeah. that point, but it just, it blew us away. <laughs> oh it blew us away and, and it, it, it blew a <gasps> hole in my, in my soul. <laughs> I still remember when that twist happened. I was like texting Maurice. I'm like, the just happened. (laughs) What is go? What? We we were like angry and confused, (laughs) and heartbroken all at the same time. And then we got so much more. Oh, so yes, that's one of that's one of my biggest recommendations. Yeah, I mean, get bring the box of Kleenex (gasps) though. Just be prepared. Just be prepared. Yeah. But it's one of it's one of those dramas where we always laugh when we do our lives that mm-hmm. I won't watch anything if I have to, if I'm gonna end up crying if I know that in advance. That was one where I had no idea I was gonna end up crying, and then I was really angry that I was gonna end up crying. But I was really, really glad I watched. Yes, it. yeah, it's yeah. a stellar, stellar yeah. drama. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so good. <gasps> Did she win the Beck Sang after that? Yeah, Kim Hae Ja. Yes, Kim Hae Ja. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. She was. Oh, yeah, she was so good. She was. It she was. was. Oh, she was magnificent. <laughs> and she was magnificent. And I and Han Ji Min. And, and Han Ji Min was magnificent. And I believed that Nam Ji Hyuk had a relationship with both women because they were the same character. Yes. And that's what I thought was an amazing piece of work mm-hmm. in that show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I could gush all we could clearly gush all day about how amazing he was on that. Right. But he he has a bunch of other dramas that we really mm-hmm. loved. What um you know what? Do we, do we dare dive into the startup now? <laughs> I think we have to. So. We have to. We have to. Um, At no point were we confused about who the male lead was in this drama. Ever. Just, just saying. Just please for, know that. Please know that. And I know that for so many, uh, Kim Sun Oh was your guy. But I just always, I always knew it was going to be Nam Ji Hyuk and Suzy. Yeah. Yeah. And I had no problem with it. Now, I heard that they reshot the ending a couple of times or rewrote it a couple of times. Really? Trying to figure out 
what they were going to do because Kim Son Ho blew up, blew up, blew like beyond what anyone would have anticipated with this. I role. think even beyond what he anticipated with oh, the role, because sure. even he was team uh, Dalmi and Dosan. <laughs> like even in his interviews, he was like, yeah, no, that's that's not the story. That is not the story. The story is. Those two, I that's not it. Yeah, like that was not the uh, that was yeah. not that was never part of the plan. No, his relationship was 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 with Hymony. Yeah, and that was a beautiful relationship. It and was. I wish we could have focused more on that. Yeah, but, but uh, no, yeah, Shuk as Dosan, I, <laughs> I <laughs> once I, again adored him. He was so charming and just bumbling, <laughs> and yes. that money video. <laughs> Oh my god, that money video was again he comes out of nowhere with some of the funniest things I've seen in yeah. dramas. If you're watching us on YouTube, um, or if you're you're listening to us on a podcast, get to YouTube and and search for that money video. Because it's been it's been what, two years? Oh my god. So it's just it's it's so great to rewatch it's so it. Great. It's so great. And like his 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 friendships with his with his buddies that were uh, also the the, the three sons, right? Yeah. The some sons that you had uh Kim Do Won and Yu So Bin, who was from Crash Landing on You, yes. and how they built their company up. And I just uh, I love those three guys. Yeah. And just the heartbreak and the he just he just is a full package for me when he I He really is, yeah. 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 I have really great memories of like waking up Saturday mornings during the pandemic and turning <laughs> on Netflix to watch the newest episode. And they were long. They were you, long. You got your money's worth. It, re- it really was one of those show, those dramas that brought me a tremendous amount of joy. Yes. Yeah. Like it just was, it made me happy. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed the relationships. I enjoyed watching them break up and get back together. And when he came back and just all of that, like I just, I mean, his character went on a journey yeah. from like, n- you know, tech genius kid, you know, to the startup to like Kim Won Hae is your dad, <laughs> right? <laughs> Who d- will never tell you that he's so proud of you. Yeah. And then the makeover, <gasps> oh. and, then- and then both of them watching each other on their on their Insta lives <laughs> across the sea. Oh my god! Oh yeah, I just I yeah I. Mm-hmm. Who was I? I was chatting with someone on Twitter, and they were like, "Yeah, I just started watching Startup," and I'm like, "Oh, how's it going?" And she's like, "It's been really, really enjoyable because I wasn't caught up in all of the the it was what was it, it was like the the Dosan Team Pion, yeah, Team Dosan uh, Team Gpion. Fight where it was just yeah. kind of like, "What is happening?" But the thing is, because the love for Kim Sun Ho grew exponentially, yeah. it, if you didn't have someone with Nam Ji Hyuk's talent and caliber, mm-hmm. the, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Mm-hmm. True. Yeah. You know, Kim Sono would have wiped the floor with whoever Absolutely. else, you know, was, you know, in opposition. But yeah, honestly. But yeah. And I just I I, I think I want to I think I've said this numerous times, but now I have a little bit of time to do it. I want to go back and just rewatch Startup mm-hmm. and just kind of enjoy it for what it was <laughs> and what the story was. I mean, because the story was not complicated. It you was know? there was not there was not. I don't feel like there was any duplicitous things happening <laughs> anyway but so i just want to go back and just enjoy it for the pure uh so dummy and Nam uh, relationship uh, again. yeah and those three boys oh, oh god, god. i just, just i did i enjoyed hilarious. it so much it was so hilarious so here's the thing i'm looking back on days because i can't recall my life really in 2020 <laughs> know, right but the school nurse files came out on top of startup yeah i remember them kind of overlapping for sure yeah. I don't know if it was like the top half or, the, or, yeah. or the, the bottom half, but I do remember the overlap. School Nurse Files is one of those dramas that I wanted to enjoy it so much more than I actually did. Yes. It started well. Um, it had a lot of really interesting ideas in it. It did. And Jung Yoo Mi is Jung in it, Yoo superstar. Yu yeah. Tao, superstar. It's just uh, the story fell apart, I think, yeah. or never gelled. I feel For me, it never gelled. It never gelled. Because right. it felt like they jumped too quickly from one idea to the other. And then it was all of a sudden like, wait, where are we? And, and it was world destruction. And then it was not. Mm. And then it was over. And I yeah. was like, wait, what just happened? And it was short. And yeah. it, God knows we're not getting season two on that. So, yeah, it was too bad. Right. Because, again, that was a different character for, mm-hmm. for him. And I love that he's taking these these. I don't know if there are chances or risks, but he's not taking the typical um, 
you know, male lead kind, female lead kind of drama. Yeah. Like this was much he more challenging. Definitely does seem to be doing a different path. Mm-hmm. I mean, he does hit, uh, he does hit all the, you know, the rom-com type things, which is good, but I find that he doesn't pick the standard one when he does yeah. pick, which is interesting. Yeah. I think he's been elevated into a different caliber, which is, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. And then he's about, he, he's 28. So that means he's about to go into the military. Right. Which means we're getting the last few things of, on his docket until he disappears for what, a year and a half? Is that what it's down to now? And 18 so, months. 18 months? No, 20? I can't. Yeah, I, I don't remember. I know it, it was, it was, I thought it was 20 for a while and then it got dropped down. But anyway, he's about to, he's about to be gone for at least a year. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so he's currently in 25, 21, <gasps> which is so good. <laughs> it's so good. It's, so, <laughs> it's, it hits all, it hits all my, it hits all my Nam Ji buttons. So we are recording this podcast and we have just finished episode seven mm-hmm. of 2521. Um, so fingers crossed for us <laughs> that this holds. I yes. really think the, the writing has been stellar to this point. Yeah. I can't imagine it's going to, it's going to yeah. nosedive. But once again, as we've been talking about since he did um, the great battle, it's, he's now opposite Kim Tae Lee. Yes. Like he has been opposite, like mm-hmm. juggernaut people since he did the great battle. Yes. And him and Kim Terry have just <gasps> such an amazing chemistry. And I still, I said, I say this in our live and I think it's still hilarious. He's playing someone who's four years older than her when in real life, she's four years older than him. Mm-hmm. And yet we still believe it. Yes. And that is what's so amazing about both of them as actors, but mm-hmm. which I just think is a lot of fun well it says so much that he was cast in this because mm-hmm. she's she's again jewel in the crown of like yeah. korean actors i've seen everything yeah. she's done she i mean she hasn't done that many projects Mm-mm. but like from minute one she's just yeah well here's the thing she didn't start in her teenage she might have done projects in her teenage years but like i think her first film was she had already graduated from college so oh, okay. she came in as a trained actress gotcha. yeah okay. doing the handmaiden um and a little light lifting yeah oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> brave, brave young woman. Um, but Little Forest, also just a lovely, lovely healing film. Um, and then Mr. Sunshine is this is the same director. So, you know, someone of her caliber and with a director of that caliber yeah. to have for it makes perfect sense that Nam Ji Hyuk is in this because, like I said, I like him vulnerable. And yeah. there's so much of that because we're dealing with the IMF crisis and a family bankruptcy. And he's he's very um, he's a responsible young man mm-hmm. in this, but man, you just feel everything he's going through. Right? And then he do the flip side of it. He's hilarious with the comedy, right? Yes. So he can do, he can play both sides of that. And that's what I think is making that such an enjoy. That's what makes him such an enjoyable actor for me is that he can do both ends of it. And I think that's also why I like him today. She also can do both really, really well. This is one of, this is such a high quality project. Mm-hmm. It's such a high, high caliber drama. And it's got, it's that K-drama soup where there's comedy, it's, you know, that comedy and pathos and, you know, surprises yeah. and just um, life lessons, life lessons, and and growing and, up and, yes, and tension getting, and family yes, dynamics. It's all love, there. And yeah. Yeah, finding your first job. What are you going to do with your life? Like yeah. it's just, and I believe every minute of it. Oh yeah. Every minute of it. Oh my God. All that stuff with full house with the comic books. Right. The, the cultural touchstones in this are also really wonderful. Um, and, you know, h- him having to survive, you know, p- through this IMF crisis, like with nothing, having to leave behind college and having to leave behind his red convertible sports car. <laughs> Poor baby. Poor. But like hanging out with all these high schoolers, but like oh seeing, God, right? yeah. <laughs> it's, I just, he just, I mean, since Weightlifting Fairy, he has just been one of, I mean, if he's in it, we all, we're definitely here. Oh, yes. I don't think, I don't know if I've dropped anything he's ever been. <laughs> I think I've watched everything straight through, including the public. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did not watch that. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, no. I've watched, <laughs> I've, I haven't watched everything he's been in, but since I started watching him, if he's in it, I have finished it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, if the school nurse files had been more than six episodes, I might not have that one. That one I might have because that one I think and it was on Netflix, oh. so we could binge it. 
So I think we were like binging and we were like, is anything happening? Oh no, it's done. Okay. Did you watch his film Josie with Han Ji Min? I have not. I do. Yeah. That, that looks one's crushingly super, sad. Crushingly sad. Yeah. And we already know my rule. If I know an, ahead of time it's crushingly sad, I probably will not start it. I will just look at the pretty pictures of him and Han Ji Min. <laughs> And he's he's Carrying worked with her. Hunchman, yeah, right? he's worked with her a couple of times now. So yeah. Radiant and then this movie. And he's always he works with these actresses that are just so mm -hmm. hefty. Yeah. And I just it's just he's amazing. Yes, he okay. is. Yes. The K3 is Jen, Marisa, and you. You are part of this K-drama community. And our podcasts and our live chats on YouTube are supported by members like you. Check out our memberships and you can support us for as little as $3 a month or more. And each tier gets you access to great K-drama perks, like a calendar every month with premieres and finales, watch parties with some of your closest K-drama BFFs, private Zoom chats where we can squee and quibble all we want and it'll stay private in that room and a little bit more and you might even get some k-drama goodies so go to ko-fi.com that's ko-fi.com slash the k3 click on memberships and support the k-drama coffee break we can gush about uh nam Hyuk all day but um if you, if someone is, we, I asked, I feel like we asked this everyone, but I feel like it's a good one. If someone was like, I'm getting into K dramas and I've noticed I've, I've watched Weightlifting Fairy, what should I watch next for Nam Joo Hyuk? Where are you sending them? Oh, um, ooh, 2521. Yeah. I think, yeah. 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 You wouldn't do it, could stop at startup? Possibly. Okay. Possibly. Yeah. I think I still have residual feelings from all of the. <laughs> the fandom drama there around that. There was a lot of fandom drama yeah. around that one. But I think in its purest form, I love 2521. I mm -hmm. think I need to wait to, for it to finish. But um, there was something about Startup that just brought me a tremendous amount of joy. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. I think that might be, I think that's where I would send them next. Uh, okay, yeah. And like a pit stop at Startup and then 2521. Well, if, and if you want to cry, I'd say Radiant. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> A good that's a good cry Oof. yeah and the yeah. crying is only like one episode i feel like we got the got the punch the gut punch mm -hmm. in like episodes 12 episodes i think like we got the gut punch at the end of yeah 10, because it was we only, we only had two episodes there was it was really enjoyable yeah like it was there's so many moments of just human emotions mm -hmm. but also really funny i remember it being funny yeah 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 funny is really important to me in case you haven't <laughs> gathered this <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was really funny. And I just remember right before the gut punch happened, um, Kim Hey Ja and her band of people that were at the center yeah. were all doing like going to go rescue him. And I was just like, that's, oh my God, it's hilarious. Like, it was just, I'm like, I know this has to be a dream because this makes no sense, but what is happening? And then all of a sudden it reveals what was happening. And I was like, <sighs> Uh, that went from really funny to heartbreaking in yeah. like 30 seconds so well done so so well yeah. done. yeah it but wouldn't yeah. be heartbreaking if you weren't so invested in what was happening absolutely and so just to wrap up i think that nam ji hyuk gets a really bad rep for not being a great actor because i think he's amazing yeah, who says that i don't know i see it online all who, the time who are you who are you <laughs> i need. i need to know more about why you think this but yeah, I just he just he really has been he's really been a grounding force in many, many shows that we've watched and worked against and worked with some of the biggest names mm -hmm. in Hallyu. And so I yes, mean, he's a plus in he's my book, a a plus for sure. Right. Yes. Oh, that was so much fun. It was. Oh, God. I love talking about our favorite actors and actresses. Yeah. So good. We love talking about all of our favorite actors and actresses. And if you want to watch other ones, we've got Bay Duna. We've got Puck Min Young. We've got a couple of finale series. We love talking K-dramas. Yes. <laughs> and we love talking about them with you. Yes. So join us every other Sunday uh, live where we talk about our entire ongoing watch list. So until then, we are the K3. I'm Jen. I'm Marisa. And you, you're part of the K3. Thank you so much for joining us with this K-drama coffee break. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.